How to fix Google Play Store insufficient storage. Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. I am Bimu from AppGuard. In today's guide video, I will simply show you the way on how you can fix if Google Play Store says that you have insufficient storage. But before we get started, as always, if you are new to our channel, then make sure to leave a like, hit the subscribe button, and without any further ado, let's get started with today's video. Now sometimes what happens over here is that if you go ahead and then open up your Google Play Store and let's say that you wanted to download a particular app but then the Google Play Store simply said to you that you do not have insufficient storage. Now when they say that you do not have insufficient storage, it could simply mean that you are running out of storage or out of space on your Android phone. So first of all, we will just go ahead and then check that I will exit out of it and after that I will go ahead and open the settings app. Once I go to settings, you can go to storage and then verify how much space you have left on your phone. So you could go to some kind of tools such as additional settings and so on and you would easily be able to see the space left on your phone. If I also go to about me section and see that, you can see I have only 11 GB available. So in your case, you could have zero gigabytes available and that could be why Google Play Store said insufficient storage. So the very first way we can fix this is to simply uninstall the unnecessary apps which you have on your device. So if you've got any of the unnecessary apps on this list, you could go ahead and long press on it and then tap on the uninstall button in order to uninstall that particular app right over here. The other thing I can also show you is to simply clear the cache files of some of the apps. For example, applications such as Facebook, Instagram and TikTok, they consume a lot of temporary space on your phone. In order to clear them, I will go to app management and and I will select app list. Once you select app list, you'll be able to see a list of different apps over here. So if I go ahead and then show you Facebook, for example, so I will just go ahead and then tap on Facebook. As I tap on Facebook, you have to go ahead and then tap on storage usage again. And once you go to storage usage, you can see the cache files of 249 MB. And this is 249 MB of space, which this application is temporarily occupying, not the data, but the cache files. And imagine how many apps you could download in 249 MB. All you have to do is simply clear the temporary files right over here, which your phone doesn't really need, which are some of the cache files. Now you could basically come back and then repeat the process for such as heavy apps such as Instagrams and so on. If I also show you my Instagram and then you can go to storage usage, you can see 352 MB of temporary files. So you can tap on clear cache button in order to delete the clear cache files. Now when you have cleared some space on your phone, you could come back to Play Store and then you could go ahead and download that particular app which you were trying to earlier. We hope the video was really helpful and if it did help you then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any more questions, queries or doubts, simply also make sure to leave them down. Thank you very much for watching till the end and see you soon in our next video.